This is the flag of Frisia or Friesland. But sometimes we also find this other flag given as the Frisian flag. So in today's video, I want to find out what's the difference between these two flags. Where do they come from and what do they mean? So this is the flag of Friesland, sometimes in Dutch called Friesland, although the official name of the province is Friesland. In Frisian, therefore, it is called the Frieske Flagge, whilst in Dutch it's called the Friese Vlag. And it's the flag of the northernmost province of the Netherlands, the province of Friesland. Now, each province in the Netherlands has their own flag, and this is the official flag of the province of Friesland, as I've mentioned. So, where does it come from, and what's the symbolism behind it? Well, the most prominent feature on this flag are these red symbols, called in Frisian Pompeblade. Now in German they're called Seeblatt and they might be called Zeeblatt in Dutch, but the Frisian name is Pompeblade. And unlike what many people think, they aren't in actual fact hearts, but rather they are water lilies. Specifically, they're the leaves of the yellow water lily, a plant that is commonly found in the marshy terrain of Friesland. Now don't ask me why they are red, it might be because yellow doesn't show up particularly well and green wouldn't fit the colour scheme. But they are red and these are the Pompeblade. To find out more, I've made a whole video on the subject if you want to click on that. But there are seven of these Pompeblen found on the Frisian flag, and each one of these is said to represent one of the Frisian or the Frieske Seelanen, as they're called, which are the Frisian Sea Counties. Note that some people believe there are seven because seven used to be a number that just denoted many while others attach this figure of seven with seven specific Frisian sea counties. These are Westfriesland, Westergo, Eerstergo, Hunzego, Fievelgo, Eemsgo, and Jeverland. Noting that these are the West Frisian names for these places and they might have different names in different languages as well. Now, the flag of the province of Friesland as we know it came about around 1895 when it was designed, but we know from pictures of the period that there were very similar flags already in use by this point, and that some of the oldest designs of flags and heraldry like this might go all the way back to the 15th century. We see, for instance, that a flag very similar to the flag of modern-day Friesland is the flag of the Omelonen, which is the area around Groningen, the city, which continued to speak Frisian into the Renaissance period and has a very similar design. It's possible that the blue streaks between the Pompeblade might represent various rivers and waterways which are commonly found and were used to divide the Frisian sea counties among one another. In any case, apart from this flag with the Pompeblad, we also find another flag that features Pompeblad and that is commonly referred to as the Frisian flag in English. And that is this flag here on the left. So let's take a look at it. The reason why we have it is because Frisia used to be a lot bigger than just the modern Dutch province of Friesland. In fact, in the early Middle Ages, we know that what was considered Frisia stretched right the way from modern-day Belgium all the way up into what was then Denmark. Now, the Group von Auerk was, and still is, a Frisian activist group that wants to create more national feeling and identity among the Frisians today. They were founded in 2003, and in 2005, they successfully petitioned the European Union to recognize Frisian as a nationality, and in 2007, they endeavored to create what they would call the Inter-Frisian Flag, a flag that would rep represent Frisians not only in the Dutch province of Friesland, but also in the adjacent areas of Germany and some other places too, for all Frisians to use as a marker of their identity. And the flag that they came up with in 2007 is this design. Note that there were a few versions of this kind of design with the, the yellow and the blue and the bump blader, but this is just for reference here. Now, there are several parts of this flag that have various meanings. So there are four Bompeblerde on this flag. One of these Bompeblerde is for West Frisia, the part in the Netherlands. Another is for East Frisia, which is now in Germany. Another one is for North Frisia, which is in Schleswig-Holstein, which is also in Germany. And a final Pompeblad is for the Frisian Olmudens, which is the Frisians in the, the outside of these areas of Frisia, particularly in Groningen, in the province next door to Friesland, where there is an enclave where Frisian is still spoken, and some other people do identify as Frisian as well. 
and across in the neighboring province of North Holland, North Holland, where there is an entire area in the north of that province called West Friesland, where the dialect is heavily influenced by Frisian, and where Frisian was in fact spoken into the 17th century. So they also have, of course, the main feature on this flag is a Scandinavian cross. And we can see this on several other flags of modern Scandinavian nations, like the flag of Norway or Denmark. Now, part of the reason why they chose this design is because historically Frisians have had a lot of connections with the north going right the way back to the early Middle Ages, but also through the Hanseatic League and other time periods, as well as the fact that the group from our mentioned that Frisians, a lot of them are Christian, and so the cross was quite fitting for their history, but also that it could represent a sun that was appearing over the horizon, the very flat sort of horizon over the sea, and that therefore it might also be seen as a secular or a heathen symbol, as well as just a Christian one. They went to the Interfrisian Council with this request and petitioned them to make this the Interfrisian flag. Now, the Interfrisian Council or Interfrisca Rea is a movement, an organization that wants to connect the Frisians in the various modern countries together and does a lot of cross border cultural things together. Now, they actually ended up rejecting this flag. Now, the reason was that the flag had used the colors of the various Frisian flags and counties. So we already saw the yellow, which is found on the North Frisian flag. We have the red, the blue and the white on the West Frisian flag, and also the blue and the red of the Bompbled, which is found on the East Frisian flag. However, the East Frisians were unhappy because as we can see on the collection of flags that inspired the color scheme for the group von Auerk, you can see that the East Frisian flag here also has a black band. And yet there is no black on this flag, on the Interfrieske Flagge that the group proposed. And so they rejected it because the Interfrisian Council has to keep all the Frisians happy no matter where they're from. And the East Frisians instead send in some of their own designs, which, yeah. Love the East Frisians, but art clearly isn't their strong suit here. In any case, the Interfrisian Council did decide to make an Interfrisian flag. They liked the idea, but they thought they couldn't go ahead with the design that had been sent in by the group from Auerk. And so they made their own design, which is this one. Now, the color scheme behind it, blue, features prominently. That's on the West Frisian flag, of course, as are the seven Bompebled. Then we have the flags of East and North Frisia in the center there. Now, there was quite a lot of criticism about this flag. For one, aesthetically, it's not incredibly pleasing and it looks a bit more like a kind of roundel on an air force on a jet airplane or something like that that you would see rather than a flag that represents a historic and cultural region. Secondly, there was criticism about the fact that this is really just an amalgamation of flags rather than creating something new. It's really just putting on the West, the North and the East Frisian flags rather than making something that all Frisians can collectively identify with, which is sort of implied in the name of Interfrisian. So the Group von Auerk also decided to put in a new design because their main criticism with this flag is that there was no heraldic symbolism on there and that is necessary for such an old and historic region as Frisia. They therefore propose this incredibly heraldic looking flag which are two golden lions which are for example seen on the various historic flags of Frisia as well as seven silver looking pompebled around it and they called it the Redbart's flag. So Redbart was a very important king for the Frisians from the early Middle Ages, from the late 7th and early 8th centuries, and they thought he would be a good representation. However, the Interfrisian Council responded to criticism uh, and to this new design from the group von Auerk saying, this is the final design that we are not going to take on any new designs and have any more debate about it, but this is the matter closed. However, it seems that this flag really hasn't been adopted by anyone else outside of the Interfrisian Council, which is a great shame because personally, I think that having an Interfrisian flag, one that's used and widely recognized, would be really good for making more connections between the Frisian areas, no matter which uh, official nationality or across which side of the border one is. 
Therefore, I want to pose the question to everyone in the audience, whether Frisian or not, which design do you think is best for representing the Frisians as a people? Is it number one, the first flag that we saw proposed by the group from Awerk with the Scandinavian cross? Is it number two, the official and still the official inter-Frisian flag used by the inter-Frisian council? Is it number three, the Red Bats Flagge, which was proposed by the group from Awerk after their first flag had been denied? Or do you think that we should, number four, make a new design to encompass all the Frisian peoples? And if you do choose number four, I'd be really interested to see what you come up with. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see which flag most people prefer. I must say that the flag that I have seen about most of the time, either on the internet or actually uh, being flown in, in Friesland, is that first design, the yellow Scandinavian cross. Uh, with the four Bompe Blair, the initial design of the group from Auer. I don't know, but I think aesthetically it by far looks the nicest. Um, I understand that there is no black for the East Frisians, but I feel the other colors match, and the fact that we have the four Bompe Blair that do represent the East Frisians maybe sort of gets around that criticism a little bit. But do let me know in the comments below. Just as an aside, if anyone is in Friesland, I'm going to be in Liaert from Tuesday night for about a week, potentially in Dokkum for a bit, as I'll be speaking at the Frisian Humanities Conference, and I might be at the Interfrisgeri, which is happening in Dokkum, I think, at the weekend. So if you're about in Liaert, then feel free to say hi, I'll be uh, around there, and it would be great to catch up with anyone who is there. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Dierendank voor het zien en misschien zorg ik zo al in in de oudste.